This video demonstration is brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with JC Rose. To see the full range of products available, visit www.jcrose.com. Hi, my name's Kate Hemmings and I'm pleased to welcome you to part two of our special project video demonstration brought to you by the Crafts Channel in association with JC Rose. I'm joined by Eve Dine, who's going to show us how to finish customising our clutch bag. Hi Eve. Hi Kate. Now, you've been very busy finishing off the studded design. I certainly have. Which looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, what's the next stage? The next stage, needle and thread. Thread up your, your needle and you just want to follow the stitch line where you unstitched it previously and you want to go right the way through from the back of the bag to the front of the bag. Okay. Make sure that you capture the zip as well so that when you zip it back up again it doesn't come undone. Okay. So this fabric's a little tough so you've got to be quite harsh with the needle. Push it right the way through and literally just, just back stitch. through again. Are you just using a simple slip stitch? Yes, just a sort of a running stitch or stab stitch, whichever stitch you prefer. But if you can try and capture the stitch line that was already there, then it'll come out and look quite neat. Won't even show that it's been unpicked? No. Nobody will ever guess? Absolutely. So once you carry on along the edge, then it's completely finished. Hey presto, a gorgeous clutch bag ready yeah. to take out. Yeah. That looks absolutely fantastic. Thank this you. is another project you might not get back, I'm afraid. <laughs> I've got my eye on quite a number of things now. Um, if you don't like the black or would prefer a different colour, mm. there's many options out there because Eve's yeah. been very busy. This is a lovely orange bag that she's made using the gold stud and you've got some nice studs there that are also gold. That's right, there's lots of different styles. So. Um, I would just place the studs over the top just to see which one looks best, what style you want to go with. You can follow the pattern of the bag, do embellish however you want to. Go as yeah. mad as you like or as little as you like. Yeah. Now it doesn't just stop at bags either mm -hmm. because I've also got, you have been busy, have. this gorgeous t-shirt which has just got slight studding yeah. on the shoulders. Yeah, just on the shoulders, just a few stars that literally took a couple of minutes, hardly at all and then just make sure that they're flat on the back. Um, you could also put a piece of material under there just so that they don't scratch on the skin um, if you're allergic to metals or anything. Yeah. That's Fantastic. very simple. It's a great way to jazz up mm -hmm. just a plain t-shirt. Yeah. And finally, you yeah. know these are my favourite, you actually studied some shoes which mm -hmm. I think look absolutely fantastic. There's the yeah. stars on the front but also some stars on the, on the back as well. Is it quite easy to stud shoes? It's not too bad. It's a little tricky. Um, these are, are PVC, so it was quite easy to, to get the studs through, but to, to then get the tool inside the shoe to press the, the claws back was a little bit tricky, but that took a little bit longer, but very effective, well worth I think. It, yeah. Very effective. I've almost got a complete outfit here ready I know. to go out. Thanks very much, Eve. That's been fantastic. Now, if you'd like to see the full range of studs available, visit www.josierose.com. See you next time. Bye.